And if that was the case, then all she would have to do is send me something on Messenger. Uh, you know, just hold that thought. See, I'm having to reboot the phone after every five shares because Facebook's taking the signal down on my phone. But see, I figured out that evidently they, they're not taking it. Now, it used to be that what they do is after five shares, they take it completely down. But they haven't done that. It's kind of like they're letting me share uh, into five groups and then they're taking it down. And I'm like, well, you know what? I won't keep sharing. Now, now it's sharing, but they ain't letting other people watch it. Shame on them. How many of y'all can say shame on Facebook for being like that? All we're doing is praying for people that are broken, that that need the Lord moving in their life. There's so many people that need peace, that need peace. Okay, so y'all hold on. I like that. I like that. Karen says, I like gooder and gooder. Okay, so hold on just a second. Let me see if I can find that one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I got knocked off again. So it's all good. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, yes, amen, I would. So, Carmi, do this. On Messenger, send me your phone. Send me your phone number. How many of y'all want to hear the lady's voice? How many of y'all want to hear the lady's voice? <coughs> that was, check this out, y'all. Okay, let me shut this down. One more time, and I'm going to boot it back up because I want to get another five groups in here before we do this. How many of y'all ready to hear from the woman whose brother was supernaturally healed in the hospital? Okay, how many of y'all want to? Okay. Hey Amen. Pastor Perry, I'll give you a call tonight, okay? I will give you a call tonight. Hey Amen. Matter of fact, Pastor Perry, there's some things that's happened uh, in my, with me just in the last several days that's changed some things as far as with me and my wife uh, financially. So there's only a couple of people that know about it. So it's been a last, it's been a tough last uh, three, four days, okay? That's why you're seeing me on here this late tonight, okay? All right, so, and then we got several other people. And I'm probably gonna see if I can get uh, Brother Dean Stillwell on here in a little bit, okay? And then my phone is trying to, so listen, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere, please. So don't go anywhere. I think you're going to enjoy hearing this while I can get a signal up. Okay? Wow. So, hold on just a second. Let's see if I can find this. Okay, now, y'all hold on. Y'all hold on. Y'all hold on, hold on. Now, let me see if I can do this. Y'all said y'all was excited. I don't know how long. Let's uh, hold on, hold just a second. Let me see this one. Okay. All right. 
me see if this will work. It's a little bit different. Okay, hold on this. Wow. Hold on just a second. This phone is uh <laughs> see if this will work. Okay? So y'all hold on just a second. Let's see if this will work. Don't nobody go nowhere. Share and invite and get everybody on here. Is this Carmi? Okay, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. How are you? I'm doing good, so I got you on speakerphone. I'm not going to be able to show your face, but this is going to be a little easier than asking you to type. Uh, you know, okay. so anyway, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to just tell everybody on here. A lot of people on here know who you are, but uh, when we share and we ask people to believe or put it on speakerphone, or believe that God, you know, Kim put on here, asked a question, why are we not seeing healings today like we should, like Jesus did, like the disciples did? And I remember that when God gave the word for you when you was praying for your brother and you got on the live stream and you said, Mike, my brother, I'm not sure if he's made a public confession of Jesus Christ and he might not live. And God gave the word to tell you that not only will your brother live, he'll accept Jesus. Now, God didn't tell me to tell you that your brother would be healed of Parkinson and all the other things that took place, but I'm gonna give you an opportunity just to describe what that was like in the hospital and what you witnessed. All right, it was just amazing. Um, I was to the hospital earlier that day. I spent most of the day with Jim, and I come home he was in a coma. I come home to get some things, and, and I wasn't going to go back that night. You told me, Army, you need to go back and put the phone on speaker and let me tell your brother about my mother's miracle. <laughs> I was hesitating on that, and I, and I, I just, you know, something in the back of my mind said, no, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. And then the Lord spoke to me in that soft, still voice and said, No, honey, you go now. Mm. And that's exactly what I done. And I went in his room, I put the phone on speakerphone, and you told your miracle of your mother. Mm -hmm. And my brother Jim opened his eyes, and I, I, was, I, I was just in shock. Um, he was in a coma. He uh, had a stroke, the doctors had said, and um, he woke up, and you led him to the Lord. He accepted the Lord, and he sat on the edge of the bed, and he looked at me with the brightest smile I ever seen him have, and he said, Sister, he said, I accepted Jesus. Mm. Yeah, well, there was so much commotion. The nurses came in, the aides come in, and there was a 90-year-old man down the hall and had told one of the nurses, you know, there's a man down there and he wants to know who's having church. <laughs> and so the, the nurses had got him up in a wheelchair and my brother stood up Look at him, and didn't, he didn't know this man. I'd never seen him before. And he said, I accepted Jesus. He said, the, the 90 year old man looked at my brother and he said, Jesus. He said, I have heard of him all my life. And he said, Would you like to know him? And, and my brother was talking just as clear as I'm talking to you. And he said, Yes, as a matter of fact, I would. And my brother, led him to the Lord Amen. and told him that, you know, that that was the right thing to do. And I never told you that my brother had Parkinson's disease. Well, he did. And the Lord healed him of that that very night. The doctor 
and then the next morning, and she said, Carmi, he says, I really don't get this. And I said, why? I said, what, what's up? He said, uh, all the test shows that your brother had Parkinson's disease, he says, but he says, we retested him. He says, it, it doesn't show anything. And I, I just fell to, down to the chair and I said, praise you, Jesus. You know, he healed him of Parkinson's. My brother was just, it was just so overwhelming. There was two nurses there that came to the Lord that night. Yeah. And um, I, my view, it, it was just the most amazing thing. And the, the doctor, he just, he said, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. And I looked at him and said, it, uh, I said, it's my Jesus. Jesus healed my brother. Yes. And, you know, uh, and, and I, I was just, like I said, I was just so overwhelmed. I never doubted Jesus at all. I, I never have about the healing because mm. I know, I've seen it firsthand. What, and I know that my brother was on his deathbed. And it did frighten me because I know that he didn't know the Lord. And I prayed for him for over almost 30 years. And that, that night, like, he came to the Lord. And I thank Jesus, oh my, you, you, you have no idea. Yes. I, I know. And then, um, of course, you know, that my brother, he was, he got out of the hospital on the way down to the car. We was, I had pulled the car out front. He um, was, there was a gentleman pushing him in the wheelchair to the car, and my brother looked back at him and he says, I need to know something, young man. He says, do you know Jesus? <laughs> and that gentleman just kind of looked at him, you know, and, and he just looked at me and, and he says, I need to know, do you know Jesus? Mm. And the, the gentleman, he said, no. He says, I've heard of him. He says, but he says, and my brother said, I want to tell you that the Lord saved me from hell. And the Lord healed me from Parkinson's disease. And he says, would you like to know Jesus? And he led him to the Lord. Amen. And we got in the car. We came home. Of course, you know that my brother passed. And at his service, I sent you the letter. Yeah. Um, I was sitting there with my brother's Bible, and a, a piece of paper had fell on the floor. I I picked it up, nonchalant, you know, not thinking, you know, and, and, but when I picked it up, it was the strangest thing, like, the letter was open. It was just folded in half. But when I picked it up, the letter was open. Yeah. And I read it. And it, it said, Carney, I want to thank you for helping me get to know the Lord. And I don't know who that gentleman was on the phone, and I don't know his name, but thank him for me. Mm. I want you to know that I'm in heaven walking with peace. Wow. Those, I uh, sent you that letter, and that to me was, confirmation that the Lord healed him of Parkinson's completely yeah. because he was that just as clear as I would write it. Yeah. There was no shaking, yeah. nothing. Amen. And before that, he couldn't even hold a glass Amen. of water to drink. And um, then he wrote me another letter and, and told me that, you know, he was not to, not to cry, not to worry that he was walking with Jesus. Amen. And I, I just, um, I, I'm, it, it, it's just amazing. Jesus is so good. God is so good. And I want all the people to know that I thank them all for their prayers and their, their faith and believing because I know that my brother is walking in heaven with Jesus. Amen. And I know then I'm going to see him one day, and that's going to be a great reunion. Amen. It's just, it's going to be amazing. I have both letters 
framed on my living room wall. Amen. And so many people read them. There's people that come in to, you know, nurses for Tommy and stuff like that. And they, they read them. And I tell them the story. That is a witness. Yeah. To me, those letters are witnesses of what God did for my brother. Amen. Because there have been at least 15, 20 people stopped and read those letters that I have on my wall. Mm-hmm. And, you know, what they ever did with the information I told them, you know, I'm sure that, that uh, the seed was planted. Yes. I guess that's what I need to say. The seed was planted. Yes. And, and I pray that, 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 that it led them to the Lord also. And mm-hmm. I just love Jesus. Mm-hmm. I, I love him with all my heart. I have since I was a little girl. Yes. And like I said, I, I also want to say, don't ever, ever, ever give up on praying for a loved one, a friend, or a stranger. It doesn't even matter. If you don't know them, don't ever give up praying because prayer works. Yes, there is power in prayer. Yes. It works. Yes, call me. It works. Call me, you know, somebody asked a question. Okay, did he die? Well, a lot of people need to know is this. Your brother was healed completely, and then he had another stroke. And I shared with you that there's a possibility that the encounter that your brother had with Jesus has caused him to say, hey, I don't want to stick around no longer. I'm ready to go. And his letter to you was confirmation of that because he said to you in the letter that I want you to know that I'm in heaven walking with Jesus. Can you imagine also, see, God gave an extension of time, just like with my mother, he gave it with your brother. He gave you an extension of time with your brother where your brother was completely healed. When your brother ascended into heaven, he no longer even had Parkinson. That's what's so amazing. The other thing that uh, I wanted to say, Carmen, can you imagine that your brother has probably had an opportunity to meet my mother and to be able to say that I just want to tell you that when I heard your miracle, it shook me to the core. That's 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 there's Amen. people out there that say that, you know, Jesus don't do what he says he does in the Bible and, and all this so so wrong. I've seen it firsthand many times and I've seen it with my brother and um, I know what shape my brother was in and they gave me no hope. Yeah. And um, it, it's just, God is so good, so, so good. But never give up on your loved ones. I don't care if you pray for 50 years. Because God's timing is not our timing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You know. Thank you. Well, listen. Thank you for sharing that. I think a lot of people. See, a lot of people's heard me share. And they've heard my voice on the miracle of you and your brother. You remember when you was typing. I think about this. When you was typing. And the lady's name, I think, was Kay. One of the nurses. And when you said one of the nurses was just basically in the floor weeping over what had happened with your brother. And God started Very just, true. yeah, God started downloading nuggets. And I remember that the nurse laying in the floor accepted Jesus Christ when I prayed the prayer of salvation and another nurse also. But you know, for your brother to have just received Jesus and then to share Jesus and lead another one to the Lord was amazing. See, your brother led two people to the Lord. There was at least, I know, four, uh, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, your brother makes five. So there was a total of five people that accepted Jesus Christ, four additional people through your brother's miracle. And people are still being inspired by that. As you said at the, at the celebration service, you know, his... Uh, his funeral, that the letter, you know, that you've shared, that you posted, seeds are being sown every day because of your brother's miracle. That was, I, yeah. you, you remember when you said to me, Pastor Mike, you remember when you prayed for my brother, you told him that Jesus was his savior, his healer, his deliverer. I said, yeah, I did. And you said, you don't know the rest of it, do you? I said, 
what part? And you said, Pastor Mike, he had, he had, you remember you said the word had, you said he had yeah. Parkinson. I said had, you said yes, because he don't have it no more. Amen. 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 Yes. Yeah, uh, at his funeral, all together with that, seven people I know of were, uh, accepted Jesus, and two accepted Jesus at the funeral. Yes. And, um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure the seed was planted, and I'm sure, absolutely sure, and positive that, that uh, you know, my brother's testimony is still, you know, is still getting people to accept the Lord. And yes. I want to personally thank you, Pastor Mike, for, you know, spreading this testimony because, you know, I, I, I can't get out there to plant the seeds like you can. And the, the Lord is using you. You are such a blessing to so many people. It's just not only my brother's testimony, you know, and, and the healing and the salvation, you know, it, it, it's all the people that you that you share about, that you plant the seeds in people's minds. And, you know, they're gonna take that home and they're gonna think about that. And I honestly believe with prayer and faith that they will accept Jesus mm-hmm. as their personal savior also. Mm-hmm. I received that word and I believe that Carmen and I'm believing for an opportunity to get into the uh, the schools because my heart breaks for the broken hearted you know yes. if people you know Pastor Darren has known me a while and for some of the people that don't know me my heart is like I say I'm more excited about and I say this with all honesty and humbleness I'm more excited about your brother's miracle than me keeping a job. I'm more excited about your brother. See, here's the thing that I want people to understand. Me keeping a good paying job is not going to bring souls into the kingdom of heaven. But seeing the blind see and the deaf hear and the lame walk and the dead come back to life, that changes lives. God's got... It happens today. It happens today. God is still in the healing he still heals people. There's miracles out there that that no one hears about. But God is still healing the Amen. same thing he did three thousand years ago. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, thank you for sharing. And like I said, see, Facebook says, well, I got him. He can't let her share because he ain't got a split screen. Well, I can let you. Amen. I can let your voice be heard. And that's exactly what we did. So a lot of people, because they need to know, hey, Mike, you know, and, and hey, I welcome it. When the enemy tries to say, this can't be true, really? All you're doing is just motivating me. Because see, if these people that didn't believe God was real, the atheists and the satanic and others, and they said, oh, I'm listening to Satan, I'm listening to Lucifer. No, you not. Because if you was getting guidance from the other side, like you say you are, to all the naysayers, You'd be being quiet because you'd be realizing sun fires you can't put out with water. You put water on sun fires and you cause them to get volatile and get more aggressive. And when the enemy tries to do this to me, you know what? All that does is cause me to get more intense and, and, and more active in what I'm doing. And I'm not going to shut up because you know what? When somebody else had a similar testimony and their husband was in a coma, I said, go to the hospital, put it on speakerphone. And Carmen, let me say this. You know how much of a field day the naysayers would have had if you would have went to the hospital and nothing happened and people would have said, well, Mike told Carmen that her brother would live. Mark t- Mike told Carmen that her brother would wake up out of the coma. He told Carmen that uh, her brother would accept Jesus. And that's exactly what happened. Three things that I told you that the Lord showed me. Now, I didn't tell you that he'd be healed of Parkinson. I didn't even know he had Parkinson. And I didn't tell you that five people would accept Jesus because God didn't tell me that. But he did the first three, and because I was obedient to speak it to you, because everybody on this live stream was obedient to believe for it, and because you was obedient to receive it, then the miracle took place. And see, that's not the end of the miracle. There's something else that I, I know that I don't want you to forget about. You said you've been believing for a long time for a permanent residency, correct? That's very true. And God answered that one too, did he not? 
Yes, he did. Um, my brother had uh, told me and my son that we never had to worry about a place to live. Well, the house was tied up into, you know, a trust and all that. Well, God, I, I just have never doubted that God would come through. I never, I, mean, I have never doubted that God would come through. I got word last week that uh, everyone was telling me, no, we can't do that. It's in the trust. And, you know, the thing we have to deal with that is, you know, and, and I just said, God, I know you got this handle. I know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know that I know. Amen. I got work last week that the papers will be ready next week to find that, that we have a permanent home. Amen. And I, I just, I feel so <laughs> blessed. Amen. Amen. That is awesome. That is awesome, Carmi. See, see, you showed that you was more concerned. You know what? Let me say this. Do you remember when me and you had a phone conversation before I even told you to go to the hospital? You said, I got a lot of physical needs, me and my son, but I want, yeah. more, I want more than anything, more than anything, I want my brother to accept Jesus Christ. And you told me, and, and you told me now, listen to this. You told me when your brother was in a coma fighting for his life, you said, Mike, I want my brother to receive Jesus more than I want to be physically healed. Absolutely. Yeah. And you see what happened, hon. Not only, Absolutely. Not, not only that, God says, when, when you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, he'll give you the desires of your heart. Let me say this. Let me say this. Not one time did you have to get on here and pray and plead and ask everybody, will you please believe for me? Will you please believe for me that I'll have permanent residence? Not one time. You have always Absolutely, that's true. You have always faithfully put your brother's need ahead of anything personal. And look what God did for you, hon. Look what God yes. did for you. You didn't even have to ask. You didn't even have to ask. You found out that later on that your brother, after he said you were going to be took care of, you're going to be took care of. And your brother, and even though it was put in a trust where other people were involved, look what happened. You and your brother, I mean, you and your son have a place of residency. That's awesome. That's yes, awesome. it is. And I don't believe that the miracles, I, I believe there's still more to this story. It's just, it, it's exciting to watch it unfold. Well, it, it just, yeah. It's exciting what God can do. God's doing and if people it. just believe, just with, like like the Lord does, half a face of a mustard seed. A mustard seed isn't very big, Pastor Link. Yeah. It don't take much faith. But if you hold on to that faith, that faith grows. Yeah, it becomes and a big And it grows promise. and it grows. Yes. Let me ask and, you. Let me ask you something. Uh, God's doing. Uh, God. God's doing a spiritual healing. Now, listen to what I'm sharing. This is where we're starting. God's doing a spiritual healing in your son. I believe that. Yeah. Absolutely. I would like to share that testimony sometime. It's an amazing, amazing testimony. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to share that on another night, whether it's live stream or whether we do this again, but where I've got more of a phone signal left. But let me tell you, I know this. How do you know this, Mike? Because I see it in his eyes. I see it in the photos yeah. that's been sent. I hear it in the spirit realm. What happened with your brother has given your son a whole new hope and a whole new faith. Yes. I yes. I, I, I believe that tonight. I do want to share this, that tonight I've been teaching, trying to teach Tommy to read yes. um, the Bible. And I, I, you know, he's 40 years old, but, the, you know, the, he's got brain damage. And I've got, Tom, Tommy is reading. Uh, <laughs> Amen. He's reading from the Bible. Amen. And tonight at the dinner table, I asked him, I said, Tom, would you like to say grace? And he said, yeah, Mom. And the grace that he said, I wished I would have taken it because I, I was so overwhelmed I couldn't even eat my dinner. 
Mm. It was just amazing, amazing. And at the end, he said, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That's what he said. Now, your, your son suffered brain damage from an am I correct, from an accident, from a drunk driver? Yes, he got me in everybody a pickup truck, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and let me, let me. In 99. Yeah, and let me say this. Uh, I know that part of what you dealt with when I said go to the hospital, the Lord's saying he's going to heal your brother, and you're fighting the fight of what you're going through. Your son has suffered brain damage, and you've got somebody telling you God's going to heal or God's going to raise your brother up, which but still, see, that was God letting you know, Carmi, that I'm not done. See, what did you just say? I don't believe God's done with the miracles. I've seen, you know, even, even when your son is so thankful for the hat and the shirt, uh, I believe that, that God's doing a work right there, and God's going to bring people into the kingdom through your son. You, you rest assured Amen. he's going to do that. Amen, Pastor Mike. He already has. Amen. Tommy is working on a testimony that he's trying to, he wants to tell the church about. Amen. And he, we're working on it. And I honestly believe um, that, that it's going to be the greatest testimony that I myself probably have ever heard. Amen. Because he's saying it in his own words. Yes. Yes. And Yes. I lost him three times through all that. But, you know, I just knew and believed that God did not bring him back three times for me to ever lose him again. Amen. And, like I said, I I have walked every step that he's walked. He had to learn to do everything all over again. And um, I'm I'm so, so very proud of him. But the most thing that I'm proud about is the fact that I took him to church when he was just a baby. Amen. And I kept him in church and kept him in Sunday school. And do you know, Pastor Mike, through everything, he lost a lot of memory. But that is one thing, praise God, that he did not lose. Amen. Yes. And that was the love for our Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Is your is your son with you right now? No, he's not. He's he's downstairs. Okay. We're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna. But I can. I can go get put him on the phone. Okay. Well, let me do this. You. Uh. Yeah. I've got. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna leave this phone on right now. You go get him. Go take the phone to him where he can hear me. I've got something I want to share with him. Okay. All right. You let me know. Uh right, You let me know when you get there. All right. So. Okay. I'm on here. Okay. I, 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 want every, I want everybody on this live stream to uh, pray for her son, Tommy. And there's a reason okay. for this. Okay, are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Tom, Tommy, here's what I want to say. Hello? Hey, buddy. Uh-huh? He, I said, hey, buddy, listen, here's what I want to say to you. All right? Yeah. God, t- yeah. God just showed me that you've got an amazing love in your heart, an amazing love. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people that's going to learn what the power of forgiveness is all about and the power of love by spending some time with you. Now, here's what I'm, I'm, here's what I'm speaking over you right now. Lord Jesus, I'm believing by faith right now. God, I come against everything that is an obstacle. I am praying for total restoration in his mind in his memory, I'm praying for total freedom as far as speech and everything else. But God, more than anything, I'm asking for your love to be magnified through this man. Lord, thank you that he got to see his uncle, Lord, that was raised up from out of a coma and as seeing the hope and the faith and the love in Jesus Christ. I am believing that, Lord, when he speaks, it'll be like Luke 21, 15. That, God, you will give him the words of wisdom and knowledge to speak that no one can resist or contradict, not even the adversary. God, there will be more that will come into the kingdom of heaven because they will see the love of Jesus Christ. And, Tommy, I believe that there's going to be some that you're going to look, and when their eyes gaze into your eyes, you're not going to have to speak a word. 
they're going to see the love of Christ manifested in your eyes, and it's going to cause them to cry out to Jesus and ask for forgiveness. I believe that without a doubt, buddy. Okay? Amen. Amen. Look at there. The amen was crystal clear. You heard that, Carmi. The amen was crystal clear. I love you. Love Jesus. Amen. Amen, brother. Listen, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love the shirt you had and the hat that you had. Call me. I'm gonna let you. Okay. I'm gonna let you go. Right. You, yeah. Call me. You work on that testimony with your brother. I mean, with, about your brother, but also with your son. Because I'm gonna tell you what. You're gonna be one day sitting here listening to him speak, and you're gonna say, "Wow." The speech is totally cleared up. You know what it's going to remind me of, Carmi? It's going to remind me of the country western singer that sometimes he'd stutter, but the minute he started to sing, everything was as clear as can be. When the Holy Spirit's going to be speaking through your son with power and anointing, it'll be as clear as can be. Make no mistake. Amen. 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 Right. I believe that. Amen. Well, listen. I'm standing on that totally. Yes. Thank Amen. you, Pastor Mike. Hey, and thank I you. want to say that I love. I love the church family. I have found on your life stream. Amen. They are just amazing. Amen. They and, are. Um, I love each and every one of you. Hey, you know what? We all participate in the, the, the miracles. We all participate in the salvations, and you are absolutely right. They are amazing. God bless you. Thank you for sharing, okay? God bless you. Right. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Okay, so y'all got to hear that. Y'all got to hear that. That's amazing. Now I'm going to see if anybody else is on here. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. 